Good morning, it's another beautiful gorgeous day. Continuation of Purim, Shushan Purim. We all had a zahut to read the Mikrat Esther, which is one of the most inspiring, interesting stories in our history. If you look, read carefully, it says, when the king Ahasuerus commanded to Haman, go, bring over Mordechai, put him on a white horse, let him put on king's royal coat, put on the king's crown, and walk with Mordechai around the city, screaming out loud, this is what we do to a person that saved king's life. Mordechai, at that time, was sitting in the, sin- in the shul, praying, learning teshuvah. When he sees Haman standing by the door, what's Mordechai's reaction? Right away, he thought, well, Haman is here. He's going to kill me, which he wanted to really do for a long, very long time. So Mordechai, right away, started doing teshuvah, He's praying even more, crying harder, Hashem, I want to do tshuva, even he was a great, cha- a great tzaddik. He was involved as much as possible in the tefillah. After he finished with all the prayers, he was ready, he said, okay, no problem, you could, he walks over to Haman and tells him, you could take over my life, I'm ready to die. I did read tzaduk adin, I did tshuva, repentance. Haman said, no, I came because of the command of the king to take you to put you on a white, ho- white horse to give you king's coat and king's crown. Rabotai, we are so quick in making conclusions. Anything we see in life, everything seems like scary to us. Everything looks uh, frightening. And we make a conclusion. That's it. This is the end. Which is normal. We are only human beings. We see it from uh, Mordechai also. Mordechai thought, that's it. That's the end. He made a very conclusion. The reality was just the beginning of the prosperity of the Jewish nation. This was an uprise, uplifting. So we come across in life a lot of Hamans in our life. Bad situations, scary situations, tough situations, anything. We make conclusion right here. No, that's it. This is the end. No, it's not the end. It's just the beginning. When a baby is sitting in the mother's stomach for nine months and the time comes to come out to be born, the child feels also the same way. We all felt like that. We felt it's the end. Being in the mother's stomach for nine months and all of a sudden we feel the tornado. We have to leave that comfort zone. We're coming to some kind of different place. Right away, child starts crying. crying. The second the child is born, starts crying. What are you doing with me? It feels that at the end, this is the end. It's not the end. It's just the beginning of new life. Beginning of new life. Any Haman that you come across of our life, any situation, don't get scared. It's just the beginning. I'm going to share with you an interesting story that happened a few years ago. There was a story of a person started coming over to shul to start saying Kaddish for his mother. And little by little, he, through the year, he started becoming religious and observant. After a year was over of Kaddish, he still continued and, you know, wants to become more religious. So every Shabbat, instead of going with his family to picnic or driving around somewhere for barbecuing or upstate New York, he decided they're going to do it on Sunday. Shabbat, him and his family is going to come to shul. So every Shabbat, they started coming to shul with his kids, with his wife, little by little. In the beginning, they used to come for 20 minutes. Then eventually for an hour, then they used to come for the whole prayer of Shabbat in the morning for three hours. Every Sunday, they started traveling to picnic. One time, one Sunday, as they're traveling, going to picnic, instead of going on Shabbat, they get to bad car accident. The man had three daughters and one son. The last child was a son, which he used to always, you know, worry about. He makes sure that he's okay, he's fine, because they, he's a continuation of the mishpach of the family. The child was sitting in the back seat, the son, he hit his head really badly against the door, against the window in the car. It didn't look too good. They called the Hatala. They tried to get him to the hospital. He goes together with his son in the Hatala truck. And he's thinking to himself, like, I used to go to picnic on Shabbat. Everything was safe and okay. All of a sudden, I started keeping Shabbat, become closer to Hashem. I would get such a terrible car accident. My son doesn't look too good. It's, this is the thoughts going through his mind while he's sitting in the Hatala truck. He's already making conclusions. It's really, how bad can it be? And it didn't look too good. Even the Hatzala guys were really worried about it. The child didn't look too good. As they got, got to the hospital, they started doing x-rays. They saw an x-ray. The child, the, bo- the boy, had the beginning of the tumor in, in his brain. So the doctor said, it's good you guys came on time. If you would came like a month later, it be would be most probably too late to save him. Rabotai, it seemed like a very scary, tough situation. But the reality was the blessing from Hashem. 
Because if they would really come later, it would be too late. Don't rush to make conclusions. Every little thing we see in life, we have to make conclusions. No, it's bad. No, it's frightening. No, it's scary. No, it's, it's anxiety. It's not. Hashem is bringing you to the next level. Hashem is bringing you to the next light. Hashem is taking you out of the comfort zone. Hashem is helping you to reach the best potential in your life. That's what it is. Don't make conclusions. We see when Yosef Tzadik was a good man, Tzadik, he didn't want to do anything with Potiphar's wife. At the end, what happened? He's trying to save himself from the sin. He ended up being in jail. If he would end up having sin with a Potiphar's wife, nothing would happen. But he never even thought in his mind, like, you know, I should have done the sin with a Potiphar's wife and I'll be a free life and freedom instead of being jailed. It looks scary, but he understood this is the beginning of some kind of different blessing. A new life is coming, a new light. And what was the conclusion? The result after being in jail, he gets, out, he gets out of the jail. Years later, he becomes Paro's right-hand man and saved millions and millions of people from the hunger. He was able to reunite back with his family too and bring them to Egypt too. Rabotai, don't make conclusions. No matter what happens in life, we rush. We rush to make conclusions. Oh, I don't like the person looked at me. Maybe he knows something. Oh, I don't like what this happened. Maybe they know, but maybe they heard something. No, don't make conclusions. It's all good. Hashem is in the control. Hashem knows what he's doing. And it's all great. Just give some time.